I used to think I needed a lot of stuff, you know, toys, clothes, everything like that because I had kids. It was kind of an excuse I had in my head, something I thought I had to, right? It's just part of having kids, you just need stuff. But I'm here to tell you, it's not. You don't need all of that. Hi, I'm Madeline, if you're new around here, and I make videos about minimalism as a mom. We have recently embarked on this minimalism journey about, I always want to say six months ago, but I think I've been saying that for like three months. So it's probably like eight months now, but regardless. I want to share with you everything that I'm learning on this journey and maybe take you along so we can declutter together and get some of that, you know, calm, sense of calm back into our home. But today I wanted to talk to you about kids' clothes and how we have minimized our own kids' clothes because they can gather so much stuff. Now here's the thing about kids' clothes. One thing that I've noticed, again, I kind of felt like we needed lots of clothes, right? You always hear, well, kids get dirty, you need a lot of clothes, you need a lot of changes of clothes, you need to ha just have a lot to go through. Well, the thing is, you really don't. And I will show you exactly how we managed to stay on top of things and how we managed to actually get by with less because you really do not need that much. And having a whole pile of clothes can actually make it so much harder for you as a mom. It's what I have found in the past as well. Yeah, so I kind of had this thing in my head, like, I just have kids. It's just something that comes with having kids. You kind of feel like once you have kids, they kind of attract a lot of things into your house, right? But what I have actually noticed now that I've kind of sat down with myself and did this whole minimalism process, I've realized it's not the kids who actually bring clothes into our house, right? It's me. It's mostly me. My husband doesn't really buy a lot of kids' clothes either. Maybe once here and there, but it's usually me. They're not the ones who go into the shop and see, oh, all of these cute items are on sale, I might as well buy a bargain. Nope, that's me again. Hi, it's me, I'm the problem. It's me. And don't get me wrong, I still buy cute items, I still buy things that I love for my kids because I feel like it's a joyful thing. It's just a lovely part of being a mom. And I love that so much, but that doesn't mean I need to have hundreds of different clothes options for them every single season, every single age because that's the thing, they age so quickly, so you actually do get to change their clothes quite a lot. So you can keep buying cute things, but you can also make it in a way that's manageable and it doesn't, you know, just gather up in the closet. So nowadays, when I buy things, I actually go to the shops with a list, with a purpose, right? I have, you know, my baby has outgrown the three to six month clothing, so now I make a list. I need five tops with long sleeve, I need five tops with short sleeves, I need five leggings and so I go in the shop or I go on Vinted because recently I've actually been purchasing a lot on Vinted, I love it and I look on there for things that I actually need and so when I go to the shop with that list and I see something that's on sale, yes that actually is a bargain that you're getting but if you're just going into shop and you're just buying random things here and there, it's not really a bargain if you already have 20 of those items in your closet already because you're not gonna get a lot of use out of them if you have so many piled on. And I'm not trying to make you feel bad here because I was like that too, so. So I'll share with you exactly how many items we have in each category for each of our kids in their closets. But I did want to share with you a few life-changing hacks that I've learned. Number one, socks. I cannot, I have lost count of how many socks for my kids I have lost. Or how many I had just one of, I lost the pair and then obviously I couldn't use it anymore and their drawer, the sock drawer, was usually filled with a lot of different tiny socks. Some had pairs, some didn't and it's just a mess. So what we have done lately and what I've actually adopted in my wardrobe as well is I bought my kids one set of socks in all the same color. So my six month old baby has just one set of, I believe it was six pairs? or something, six pairs of white socks, all exactly the same, and that's it. She doesn't have any more, she doesn't need any more. My son has a set of, I believe it was seven socks, that are all dark gray because he needs those for school, right? He needs to have that color for school to go with his uniform. So he just wears those all the time, even if he's not going to school. I only have in my wardrobe white socks at the moment. Same, like a set of, I don't know how many I have, a set of seven probably pairs of white socks and they all go in the same little basket of socks and they're all the same so when I go in there I just need to grab two like for my baby I need to grab two socks I just go grab any two because they all match they're all the same I don't have to worry if I'm losing one they just all pair with each other and it is honestly life-changing <laughs> I never have to look for them and I never have to when I do laundry I never have to look for them to pair them together so that I know to put them together back in the drawer 
it is just so much simpler that is one hack that i highly recommend you try if you haven't already and don't get me wrong socks are cute but honestly your kids don't really care about the socks that they wear like i know mine don't like obviously my baby doesn't but even my nearly six year old now he could care less about the socks that he wears he cares a lot more about like t-shirts and things like that but socks no they don't care my next life-changing tip for your kids is in their wardrobe right or the chest of drawers whatever you use for them the thing that you open every single day to dress them only has items that they actually wear right now this age this season right now it fits them they can wear it it's an option because i used to keep a lot of things in that wardrobe so it was just kind of a mumble jumble trying to look for things that actually he can actually wear right now but now we only keep things that are in season things that he actually wears right now anything that's like a bigger winter coat it's put away in one of those boxes that we have for out of season items anything that's not the right size yet anything like that goes in storage and what they have in their wardrobe at the moment is things that they actually wear right now and doing this makes it so much easier when you open your wardrobe in the morning because everything's an option and so it's so much easier to dress them it's so much easier for them to go and get themselves dressed as well next tip that i have is about laundry right your laundry routine we have gotten into the habit of putting on a load of laundry pretty much every single day like some days we wake up and you know the laundry basket is empty so i don't need to do anything but pretty much every day or every other day i do have to put on a load of laundry and it is life changing i put it on very early in the morning you can even set your washing machine if you want to and then by the time it's like 7 a.m the laundry is done i can just hang it to dry either outside or inside and then by the end of the day it's usually dry i can put it away and it is so much easier to do this rather than having piles and piles of laundry it just feels manageable there's never piles of clothes anywhere in the house anymore like there's not clothes thrown on the floor it's amazing what a minimized wardrobe can do for your mental health as well because honestly as a mom just seeing those piles of clothes can be so stressful so i'm going to share with you exactly how many clothes we have in each of their wardrobes and i'm going to give you a tour okay so we are in baby sophie's room she's six months old so i'm going to show you what's in her dresser this holds all of her clothes everything that we need for her pretty much so we have got here socks as i said we have only white socks here so easy to pair them up because they all match each other and they're also cute you know i don't feel like you need to compromise on cuteness and these i got from tesco fnf just in case you're wondering we've got some little lotions in the back that i don't use a lot but you know it's nice to have when she has dry skin we've got these little muslin cloths that we use when we give her milk because it kind of dribbles on her neck now we've got nappy cream wipes and nappies and one other thing that's not in here, it's downstairs, we've got bibs, just a lot of dribble bibs because she needs them when she's eating and just because she's dribbling a lot at the moment with teething. But that's the one thing that we have probably like 10 or 15 of because we go through them so, so fast. But yeah, then in here, I actually kind of need to have a look. So these, I have labeled them. I've just got my la label maker. So I've got short sleeve vests. We've got two and there's a third one that's in the wash. Then these are a long sleeve bodysuit um and actually this one i'm pretty sure yeah this is the one that doesn't fit her anymore so i need to take it out but we've got one two three four five and then there's one that she's wearing right now so i believe we have only six of these might be one in the wash but i'm not sure um yes yeah, so we don't have a lot of these either then we've got four pajamas that fit her right now long sleep suits like this and then she's got five leggings i believe um one of them is in the wash or no one of them she's wearing and then she's got two pairs of shorts for the summer and this is pretty much everything she has she also has a cardigan downstairs and it is summer so obviously in winter we might need a coat or something like that but right now this is all that she needs and this pretty much gets us through like we don't really need any extras and down here we just have swimming nappies i do have her swimsuit here it's in the wash right now because we went swimming this weekend um and then she's got some big muslin cloths that we sometimes use um these i use they're just like little um changing pads to put under her when we're changing her nappy she's got one extra set of sheets one of them is on the crib obviously and then one extra blankie and 
that's it she has also two sleeping bags so one of them is in here that's in use and then um, there's one in the wash as well that's pretty much everything we have for her and I'm constantly going through her um, wardrobe and seeing what she it doesn't fit her anymore like this one I'm just constantly decluttering and putting things in here these are also things that I took out like pajamas that don't fit her anymore so yeah these are gonna go um, in a donations bag soon and then moving into my son's room so this is his wardrobe at the moment this is what he has in here so these are school uniform bits he's not using that at the moment because it's summer but these are all the school uniform things he has except for trousers that are um, in one of the drawers i'll show you in a second and then he's got four five t-shirts one of them he's wearing so five t-shirts like short sleeve and then he's got three i believe long long sleeve um, jumpers uh, now it's summer so obviously he doesn't need a lot but in the winter i'll obviously get more long sleeves so probably like five long sleeve five short sleeve and that will be good for him he also has two navy hoodies like this that he loves to wear so um this is good to layer like on top of a t-shirt in case it's chilly then in here he's got all the same socks they're all the same color pants and then he's got pajamas here it's just three sets to be honest he doesn't actually need three sets so as he's outgrowing these i'm not gonna buy any more like um only maybe two sets of pajamas he doesn't need that many but yeah then this is trousers these are school trousers he's got two long ones and then two shorts these are long trousers there some of them are navy some of them are black so he wears them for pe and then also just in general and then he's got three pairs of shorts and he's wearing one of them and then at the bottom it's just kind of random he's got uh, dressing down and slippers swimming stuff so just kind of random stuff like that but yeah that's his minimized wardrobe right here now you might look at these wardrobes and think oh that's way too little clothes i'm not gonna be able to get by um you know they'll get this dirty and then i won't have a change for them here's the thing i have found since minimizing their closets I, it was kind of an experiment to see how we were doing and we have never been like we've never run out of clothes for them because we do the daily uh, laundry routine as well but also because for example for my baby you know she has four pajamas and five long sleeve tops and leggings if we happen to run out of let's say tops and leggings and i don't have any clean for her for some reason i can always just put her in one of the pajamas like the sleep suits and she'll be fine she can go a day in that like you know they're just babies she doesn't care if she's wearing a t-shirt or a pajama and the same with my son if he really you know runs out of all the long sleeve shirts which has never happened to be honest but, but if he manages to get it all dirty and we need to change him so many times he can always go with a t-shirt instead of a long sleeve he'll be fine and like a hoodie on top or something so there are always options to go even if you run out of clothes like clean clothes in one category if you know what i mean but again that has actually never happened to us and we have very little clothing for them i would say it is so much easier to buy things and to you know get something if you realize you need more of like i realized for example the other day that um, we didn't have enough leggings for my baby so we needed to buy some more because she had outgrown her previous ones i donated them and then i realized oh wait we only have like two now that actually fit her let's go and buy some more and that's fine but you know what it's it's so easy to go and buy something like you have so many shops around you probably that you can just go and grab them or you have amazon or you can order online it's like we have so many opportunities to buy and bring stuff into our house and it's so hard for us to let go right it's so hard to declutter to get things out of our house so yeah if you do realize you know you've minimized the wardrobe you've decluttered and you realize yeah we actually need a couple more leggings you can always go and buy some more and the ones that you decluttered you've probably donated or given them to somebody else that they make use of so it's not like it's just a waste somebody else is using them as well and the one other thing that might be a bit controversial i don't know is we actually don't keep a lot of hand-me-downs these days and i don't know if it's something to do with you know the kind of journey that we've been on with infertility but i have actually kept a lot of things from my son as he was growing up i kept them in storage because we were thinking oh we might have a baby one day and you know we'll just save them for that baby right and then we lost the baby when my son was three years old we were supposed to have a baby and i had a miscarriage and then i had another three early miscarriages after that and i feel like with every single one it kind of you know the thought of having a baby went further and further away from me so we started donating some things because it was just it was just kind of painful to hold on to those 
and we did have our daughter now we do have our baby and i have actually found from the things that we have kept from our eldest from when he was a baby or from when he was like one year old or two years old we went through all of the clothes again like the hand-me-downs and i realized well actually a lot of them won't fit her because they're not the right season like they don't overlap um and she's a lot tinier than he was so it's just not going to necessarily work a lot of them just didn't fit her when she was supposed to be the age that those clothes were or they weren't the right season and so we had to get rid of them after storing them for five years and it feels to me a bit like a waste because somebody else like another baby could have used all of those clothes in the meantime and we just kept them in storage so i feel like also because there's quite a big age gap between them there's over five years between them and you know they will have their own like my daughter will have her own preferences as she grows up she might not want to actually wear the clothes that we have for my son as they grow it's very likely that you will want to buy some more clothes you'll get gifted clothes and so we have decided not to keep a lot of hand-me-downs anymore from my son to my daughter for that reason right so we do have a couple of storage boxes we have some with school uniform bits because they'll likely go to the same school and just a few things that we did want to keep but not a lot i do feel like it's a lot of like a mental load for you to you know have everything labeled to know where everything is when your baby like starts growing and you need to be able to find the exact clothes where they were the ones that fit her you have to go through the boxes of clothes obviously multiple times you'll have to do that to see which clothes fit her right now which ones don't yet and you know you get the ones that do fit her right now and then you go back you need to look again and it just feels like a lot of hassle a lot of mental load that you need to carry to make sure that those clothes that you kept in storage for five years are actually being used and to me it feels a bit stressful to be honest and i find it much easier to just go on vintage and get a real bargain like you can find a set of five baby clothes for four pounds or something like that it's really inexpensive and a lot of them are in great condition a lot of them haven't even been used like a lot of people say i got this as a gift never been worn here it is for two pounds and so for me i find it easier when she's outgrowing the three to six months clothing i will just donate that go on vintage and buy her the next size up five leggings five long sleeve five short sleeve maybe a cardigan or two depending on the weather and stuff like that but it just feels much easier on my mental load to do that rather than to have a whole bunch of clothing and storage that i have to constantly go through look for keep tabs on where it is and keep that in storage for five years when somebody else could use that clothing in the meantime i hope you found this helpful let me know if you are on a similar decluttering journey as i am and i hope you're having a lovely day bye